Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies in betweens and OGs. Thank you, thank you so much for always supporting your girl, becoming and staying a part of the family, getting that clarity and that confirmation when it resonates that you need. I love you guys to life. Thank you, thank you. You could be anywhere in the world today, baby, but you here with me, all right? If you want to check out my social medias, the link is in the description box below, all right? And if you would love to be so generous, I do accept donations. That is also in the description box below. All right, baby. So let's see what's going on with the collective, all right? I have my life cards here. Haven't used these in a while. We're going to get some situations and scenarios, all right? Okay, wasting no time here. All right, hold up. Wait. <laughs> All right, so we have your medical or cosmetic surgery will go great, all right? So if you guys are about to get surgery, you already had surgery, you're getting consultations, you need to go to the doctors, okay? Maybe some of you guys are scared to get whatever necessary medical is what I'm really picking up. Spirit is saying that everything's gonna go right, okay? And if you've already gotten this procedure, Baby, everything is healing fantastic. All right, now some of you guys do want to get cosmetic surgery. Some of you guys want BBLs, you want tummy tucks, you want liposuction. Maybe you want to get higher cheekbones. Maybe you want to get your smile lines filled in. Maybe you want to get some lip injections. That is your prerogative, boo-boo. But whatever you're going under the knife for in regards to enhancing yourself, it's going to go great, boo-boo. Don't worry. You might be nervous. You might not even have a lot of support. I'm here to let you know everything is going to go mm, peachy keen, okay? And like I said, you may go to the doctors or you are or you have a doctor's appointment. And this doctor is going to suggest a vital surgery, okay? Could be minor, could be major. But whatever it is, is going to go in your favor, okay? Some of you guys may find out that you have cancer. Some of you guys from a toxic, nasty, manipulative ex- or friends with benefits, situationship, entanglement, you could find out that you may have a STD. Some of you guys may be getting hysterectomies, I'm hearing. Some of you guys may be just getting your tubes tied. All right, some of you guys may need surgery on your foot, your leg, okay? It's all going to be good. So don't be nervous about it, Spirit is saying. But like I said, if you're getting cosmetic surgery, boo-boo, boo-boo. Oh my God, when you healed up and all that swelling go down, they ain't gonna be able to tell you nothing, okay? All right, <laughs> the next card we got is psychopath, fatal attraction, obsession, extremist, watch out, right? So I feel like someone that is in your vicinity or someone that is watching you from afar, you could have a platform like me, um, you could be well known in your community, right? You could have a high position in your own entrepreneurial business, you could be a boss or you have a high position at your job. I am hearing that multiple people are obsessed with you. Multiple. And this includes ex-lovers, ex-friends, ex-communicated family members. People watch you like a television show. People prey on your downfall. Then you have people that also prey on your wins. You have people that want to be you. They want the life you have, the husband, the wife you have, the car you drive, the house you live in, the job or the entrepreneurial business that you are sustaining and killing it in. They want your facial features. They want your body structure. This person wants to talk like you, walk like you. Oh my God, this person or these people I'm hearing are trying to mimic every aspect of you. But the thing is, is that you don't put enough out there for them to fully capture who you are. These people watch you like a reality show. Every time you post, they're saving your post. They're analyzing your picture, your videos. 
if you are not on social media, I'm hearing, I heard it through the grapevine. You and me with them thine. But I hope that you feel much better. Because I do. Now, someone of these fatal attraction, obsessed, extreme motherfuckers, okay, try to curse you, put black magic on you, or they actually did, okay? And this could have made you gain weight. This could have made you look at yourself in an unhealthy way. This could have put you in a pessimistic state of being of mind. And, ooh, they, they heard it through the grapevine and it, it, it gave them life that you were miserable. Because a lot of these people that are obsessed with you, that have fatal attractions towards you, they know you, but they don't know you now. Like you're continuously changing, evolving, growing. So I feel like these people also idolize you. They put you up on a pedestal. They have a whole fantasy in their mind of who you are. And this is not who you actually are, okay? Some people have prided themselves on hating you. Some people have prided themselves on loving you too. So if they are a fan and they leave a comment on your post, right? Or they say good morning to you when you walk through the door at your job. Or they buy something from you because they are trying to be a client of yours. And you respond in such a generous, joyful, free way, right? This person can misconstrue that in their own delusional mind or these people as you flirting with them. Now, like I said in the beginning, you could have gotten some type of cosmetic surgery or this is what these haters are saying about you. You could be naturally curvy, natural big lips, right? Natural good aesthetics when it comes to how you look. And these hating ass extremists that are obsessed with you, that can't accept you for the beautiful, gorgeous, generous, talented, dope ass, all around divine being that you are. No, they have to, in their mind, solidify the fact that it's no way you could be better than them. And it's no way you can really look like this. Now, if you did get surgery, who the fuck cares? It's your body and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay? But you have some of these people putting love spells on you, trying to. If you do have social media, you have particular options or people. I wouldn't even say options people that really want to be with you and they just keep DMing you, inboxing you, DMing you, inboxing you to the point where you have to block a lot of these people. And when you block them, it enrages them. So they turn that love into hate and they start evil eyeing you. So spirit is saying that you need to protect yourself. Okay. Get some black tourmaline, black obsidian. I'm here. Opalite. Okay. Clear quartz. And what these crystals do is block a lot of ne negativity entities, all right? They absorb a lot of negativity, so make sure you cleanse these beautiful crystals, all right? And it basically keeps these energies away from you. So carry it in your purse, get a ring, a necklace, a bracelet, sleep with it. Because a lot of these individuals that are competing with you as well, they're sending you psychic attacks so that you can't get up in the day, so that you are tired and, and you feel lazy and you can't accomplish what you want to accomplish. You can't work out. You don't feel like eating right. Like some of these people have sent confusion spells, weight gain, weight loss spells, okay? They've sent spells to really fuck with your beauty. Like you have these people, I mean, oh my gosh, man. You Please protect yourself. When you go out, pay attention because some of these people are trying to track you down on where you live at, what state by literally studying your post on social media. If you are on social media, if you are at a workplace, someone that knows of someone that is highly obsessed with you is going to come to you and ask you a plethora of questions. 
And you may not even know this coworker like that. You'll be like, why the fuck you asking me all these questions about myself? It's because they're doing it for someone else. And this person could want to be with you. They could really find you to be everything. Wish fulfillment, right? But it's an unhealthy attraction that they carry. Okay? Now, I'm also hearing that some of you guys had a feud with someone, right? You called the cops, this person got locked up. Maybe they pulled a gun out on you. Maybe they threatened your life. Um, they threatened your kid's life. They intruded on your home, your space. Um, they caused you to be in a domestic violence situation. And you called the cops and this person got locked up because they already had charges pent against them. Oh, from jail, they have been praying against you. When they get out, they're coming. They're coming for you, okay? So if you used to deal with someone that is locked up or you're still talking to someone that is locked up that does not always have proved to not have your best interests, this person put a target on your head when they get out. So you make sure that the friends... If y'all have mutual friends or you know any of this person's family, you better not tell them where you live at. Spirit is saying, move. Now, if you have to fall off the face of the earth in regards to when it comes to this person, right? Block them on everything, even energetically, Spirit is saying. Do your cord cutting because this person has put a bounty on your head, I'm hearing, a target on your head. Because how dare you leave them? How dare you not support them while they were locked up? How dare you find someone else? Some of you guys have moved on to better loving partners, better friends. This could also be a friend that wanted you to go down with them. That wanted you to take the rap for their bullshit. And you was like, what the f hell no? And they resent you for it. So they put a bounty or a target on your head, even while they are in jail. So just... Protect yourself physically, spiritually, mentally, okay? And move if you need be to protect yourself and your children and your new partner, okay? Because how you looking out here in these streets, somebody is sending this person pictures that is in jail, okay? Or someone's sending this person pictures that works with you. It could be the nice little coworker that is trying to get up all up in your business. If you're on social media, you have a lot of people that are highly fatal attracted to you, highly. And I'm trying to tell you, they're trying to figure out how to get to you. Now, you know how you put your number on Instagram and Facebook? Some of these motherfuckers will have the audacity to call you. If you even say thank you, if they say something nice, or comment on your photo or your story or whatever. They'll try to call you to the point where you're going to have to block said individuals. Now, I'm also picking up something else, right? If you were diagnosed with an illness, an ailment, a disease of some sort that you need surgery for, that you need healing, um, I hear radiation or therapy or treatment for, it's because this psychopathic pieces of shit and it could be a couple I'm hearing, like a couple, like a man and a woman or a man and a man or a woman and a woman that let me sent you black magic and put you in the hospital. They literally cast this illness upon your life. Oh, ho, ho, but don't get it. Don't get it fucked up. They're going to get theirs. Okay. We just giving the messages that is coming through. Okay. This ain't a karma read, but they're going to get theirs. Just know that. But yeah, it could be a couple. It could be friends. All right, it could be a friend that wanted more with you. Like I said, it could be an ex-spouse, an ex-lover that you chose to pick yourself first and leave. And it's like, how the fuck do you have the audacity to leave me? And they went to the extreme, man. A lot of you guys came outside, your tires are flat, your car windows are busted open. This person stole money from you, your credit card, tried to steal your identity. Some of these people are really trying to steal your identity. They can't as long as you don't give them the power. So don't fret. All right? But 
if someone I'm hearing tried to I set you on fire, what the fuck is going on? I hear dismantled your face like they beat you. Oh my goodness. And you had to get cosmetic surgery. Someone poured acid on your face or they beat your face so bad you had to get cosmetic surgery. Or someone tried to light you on fire. This could also pertain to someone close to you. I'm also hearing also possibly your children. Oh my God, please watch out who you talk to, who you hang around. Be aware of your surroundings, who is watching you, because people is always watching you. 21, 21 on the clock. So you could be getting cosmetic surgery due to, oh man, abuse. You could be in the hospital getting diagnosed with something that is going to try to cause suicidal thoughts. But spirit is letting you know that everything is going to work out for you, baby. Everything. Okay? But what you need to do is keep up with your cleansing. Keep up with your protection. If you want to send reversals, send reversals. But keep being that prayer warrior. Because they're protecting you. But some of these individuals are high priests or priests. They're high ranking dark witches, warlocks, and practitioners. So just be careful. And then these other individuals are not. All right. They're regular schmegler people that are just sending you an evil eye. That are trying to jinx your life. You could also be in a relationship and the sister-in-law, the brother-in-law don't like you for no absolute reason. So they are also trying to curse your relationship. So you can leave or your person can leave. And they may be sending you confusion spells like you may think your person is cheating on you. You may not feel good enough, right? You may feel like you're obsessing. You feel like you have a fatal attraction to the person you're with. And it's because this brother-in-law, this sister-in-law, this outsider, even a friend that don't want you with this person. Is trying to make you leave. But they're trying to make it seem like it's your own free will. But it's not. You have energies and entities that this person is using. Okay? We have a babysitter is cheating with your partner. Okay? Now, if that resonates. So, if you take your child or children to daycare. That daycare provider. Whether it be the workers or the director. Is having an affair with the person that you are with. This if it applies. If you don't trust daycares. And you choose to opt for a babysitter. Be careful spirit is saying. Okay on who you choose. Because if you choose someone young. Immature. That your person. And you know your person. Don't have a good track record. As regard of faithfulness to you. Spirit is saying, um, that's not a good idea. Get a man. If you are with a man, get a man babysitter. Okay, but make sure that man babysitter has good reputation. All right, good experience. And if your woman is the one that didn't have a good track record, then get a woman. Don't get a man. Spirit is saying, get someone opposite of what your person is attracted to. Because next thing you know, you're working hard, you come home, you're going to catch them in the bed together. Or this has already happened. Or Spirit is making me aware to make you aware that whatever babysitter that you hired, they fucking your boo, okay? They are fucking or having sex with your partner. It don't matter whether this is a man, a woman, a pansexual, whatever. They're having sex behind your back, okay? And this person has a fatal obsession with your person, with your husband, with your wife. And this person is evil eye the shit out of you, okay? Now, this could also be one of the people that wished ill will on you and you seem like you're always getting sick or you're always coughing or you always feel tired or drained. It's because this babysitter and your partner could be having sex if that is the case. And then when you have sex, they drain all of your energy because you're a healer, because you are of higher vibration. Spirit is saying that this babysitter can be very attractive. So just be a, 
aware of how they talk to you, how they talk to your person, how they dress around you, how they dress around your person, how they treat your child. Put up, I hear nanny cams, okay? Please, because this, wow, babysitter may be getting cosmetic surgery that your husband or your wife could be paying for. Ooh, I'm also hearing that you may find out if this is already in effect, right? Like if this is not something that's warning you ahead of time, that this babysitter, all right, or this child care provider, she may be pregnant, okay? She may be pregnant. But some of you guys just had, you know, hip replacements, knee replacements, um, things that would help you maneuver better in your life because maybe you are older and it's going great for you, okay? You're killing it. You're looking amazing, baby. Mwah, all right? And you're going to have people obsessed because you're going to be walking <laughs> no longer with a limp, but you're going to be shashaying, you know what I'm saying? Because you got whatever cosmetic surgery. I think that is still cosmetic, but it's also slash medical. But they put it under medical so that your insurance can pay for it, whatever the case may be. You're going to be sashaying on their ass. No more limping, no more, oh, my knees, my arthritis, none of that. All right, you're going to have people drooling <laughs> over you, okay? Let's be honest. And you may be babysitting your grandchildren. And um, uh, a friend may come over and be like, who is that hot mama right there? Or hot, you know, papi. If you are an older woman or older gentleman is what, I, what I'm really getting. Okay, and this friend is going to try to hit on you. <laughs> like if you're babysitting for your grandchildren and you know you're over your son or your daughter's house and their friend comes over, yeah, they're they're gonna to wanna to talk to you. I hear come and talk to me. I really wanna meet you. Okay, can I talk to you? You really wanna know, yeah. You wanna have the I hear the pick of the letter boo thing. All right, you could be dyeing your hair from gray to blonde or red. You are spicy. I hear Stella got her groove back. All right, that's for who it's for. But just be careful because people will go to the extremes to get to know you. People are sending you subliminals. People are doing the most. And you probably are paying them no attention. But it's not because you're just ignoring them. It's maybe you're just really not paying them attention. <laughs> But all in all, okay, your family could have some type of spite towards you. And it's because you look good. Life is going great for you. And it's because you're putting in the work internally and externally to make it that way. All right. And whatever generational curse that was cast upon your lineage, you broke it already. Okay. But people are still trying to put curses back on you because they don't want to see you flourish. Especially the options that are obsessed with you that thought that you weren't going to be anything in life. That solely based your worth off of your money, your looks, superficiality. Yeah, they're also super obsessed with you. And they're sending you love spells. They're extremists to try to get you back, okay? Okay. And like I said, um, this person that's going to get out of jail or that is in jail, they're trying to send people towards you. I hear a target on your head or a bounty. So just make sure you let the police know. Get into protective custody if need be. All right. Get a restraining order. Keep the track of the... I hear you're getting threats or you are going to be getting threats. Just keep track of it. You know, follow it up with the police. Protect yourself physically, energetically, okay? And make sure that you watch or observe where your children is going as well. Now, a lot of you guys, man, you are going to be famous in the fucking spotlight. Or this is what you already are. And it's going to amplify more. And with that, you may get cosmetic surgery, right? And oh my gosh. Listen, all I'm going to say is new levels, new devils. So you cannot help the fact that these people are going to be drooling over you, fatal attracted towards you, because you're the bomb. You, you, you're the fucking bomb. And you're going to be a movie star. You're going to be famous. 
all right either for your work your passion or you i keep hearing a movie star um in the spotlight of some sort and some people won't want to try to kidnap you so make sure you get security some people are going to want to try to hold you against your will to get money from you to get sex from you oh just be careful please the evils in this world jesus oh my god and um somebody's going to try to get you pregnant okay but it's not going to work and with this abortion thing oh man don't even get me started listen that is the read i'm sorry it's only three cards this is what i'm picking up let me give you some advice I don't need 50 million cards all the time, y'all, all right? I just do it so it can satisfy y'all eyes, okay? Let's get some advice. Yeah, you in your power, boo thing. You are in your power. And so the fuck what if you want to get anything, anything fixed on your body? It's your motherfucking prerogative. So Spirit's saying stay in your power, okay? They're also saying they're at your service, okay? So if you need them to haunt a motherfucker, to block a motherfucker, okay? Once you realize who are these extremists, these obsession psychopaths, right? That, oh man, that do want to kidnap you. I'm going to be completely honest. Please, please protect yourself and your children. But they're at your service. So make sure you do your rituals, your cleansing. Make sure you take the time out to converse with your benevolent ones and definitely God, okay? Um, But you have all of these people. They, they at your service. They will do anything. You have a lot of people that will do anything that will drink your motherfucking bath water. I'm, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. And then we have hotline, okay? So you're going to have a lot of people trying to hit you up, trying to build with you, wanting to be with you, wanting to get you pregnant, man, wanting to just hold you captive and some people really do have good intentions for you like they really just want to be with you get to know you they see that you are you are you're truly a hot commodity all right and they want to call you on a hotline what's that drake song that drake song is like running through my mind but i i can't pinpoint the words okay also a spirit is saying check your husband's or your wife's phone because you'll see the babysitter or the director or the employee of this child care center or this babysitter that is watching your children, okay? All right, babies, because at the end of the day, you are your own superhero, all right? But you do have people that want to come in and be your superhero. But all in all, God is your superhero. Spirit is definitely there to be at your service to also be your superhero, but they're protecting you. Three and one is four. Your stability, your livelihood, and also your children, but make sure you do the same, all right? That is some heavy-ass energy, okay? I am really getting about this person in jail. Just be careful, all right? Or if this hasn't happened yet, this person is going to lash out on you in the most nastiest way. And you're going to wind up calling the cops, and this person is going to resent you until the time they get the fuck out of jail. So just make sure you move and take your kids, if you have kids, with this person or without this person with you, all right? Because... These people don't have anything to live for. So they'll do anything. Okay? But you do. So make sure that you protect yourself and remember that God and Spirit is at your service through this change that you're making. Okay? When you're getting that cosmetic surgery, you may be nervous. Okay? You may be by yourself, but know that God is with you. All right? And know that God loves what you love. If you're happy, God and Spirit is happy. All right. Don't feed into the rhetoric of bullshit of oh, altering your body. You're not loving yourself. Do what make you happy, boo. Do what makes you happy. OK. And if the red flags are coming up about someone that is trying to, you know, move in on your partner, pay attention, babes. All right. You used to call me on my hotline. Baby, this song is ringing through my mind right now, okay? When we leave people and we know our worth and we move forward in life, people don't like that shit, especially psychopathic, fatal, attractive, obsessive extremists that pride themselves or live off of drama and negativity. People that are unhealed and are not willing to heal. Like the quote I put up, constructive loving criticism is always needed throughout your life. It doesn't matter if you think you know. 
It is always needed because what you think you know, you may not even know until someone gives you a broader spectrum of what it really is. I love you to life, Collective. Until next time. Bye.